Okay, uh, let's go get the uh, free software we need to uh, install a program in the, our new PLC. Automation Direct, and then it's Direct Soft. And that brings us to the top of the Google hit here is here. And this is the Automation Direct site. And we scroll down here. What's this? Free PCDS100 at no charge now. Okay, click on that. And then download here, DirectSoft 5, version 5.3 is what we're getting. And uh, let's hit a run. So this is the software that uh, you initially use um, just to read programs in the PLC and to uh, load software into the PLC and then you won't use it again probably ever but uh, I, I use it because I do more advanced programming with the PLC but basically no programming is needed so I'm going to hit run. It looks like things are happening, so it's already loaded. So I'm going to close Google here so we can see what's happening. Okay, so welcome to the install shield. Thank you. Hit next. Okay. My username. Company name. Well, use always a good name. <laughs> and uh, complete. Sure, why not? So it's uh, unzipping the software and loading it. So I hope this is so, the uh, We just downloaded uh, DirectSoft free software from Automation Direct. I did a computer reset as they recommended. And uh, so now we're getting prepared to launch that software for the first time, but there's a trick here that um, makes it much easier. Um, so what I'm doing is uh, I've got in my hands I've got the uh, converter that converts serial information to USB. So this is the uh, converter that uh, takes us from serial to USB. You can see the USB connector here and uh, the DB9 connectors and then it goes to the PLC. That's it. Uh, I picked this up on the internet. It's like two bucks or something like that. So I picked up a, a couple of them actually. And I've already loaded the software for this. So what I'm going to do is uh, just plug this into my USB port. You'll hear the um, sound. But before I do that, I'm going to launch control panel and uh, what I want to do is look at the ports and so in that case it's uh, under system under Vista and go over here to device manager and uh, so I'm going to click on ports so I can see them all so these are all the various ports, ports that are consumed now when I plug this cable in you'll see this change and then I know what port it okay, clicked and you can see that my serial port is COM13 down here. That's what I want to know is what's the COM for it. And on your computer more than likely it's going to be something like 5 or 6 or 7 or 8. You know mine's way up there. Okay, so I'm closing this. Okay, so um, now I know what port my communication cable is. In my case, it's port 13. And, uh, but let's review what I've got going on right now. Uh, I've got that port 13 plugged into my computer. I have my PLC uh, 
connected to a battery on my bench and uh, it's all lit up and ready to go and uh, you know, the communication cable is connected to it uh, and so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to launch the DirectSoft software this is the first time I've launched it it's searching for communication information but I need to set it up and uh, so what I'm going to do is go into the uh, INI I'm going to double click on this DS5 INI and this will just save you hours of messing around and head scratching so that's why we're doing this and uh, I'm down here in the comms and uh, it only lets me look at COM4 is the biggest one it allows I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste it I'm going to hit my there we are and then I'm going to change this 4 to 13 now on your computer it's going to be something else it won't be 13 and then I'm going to do a file save so it's saving this file and then I'm going to exit now uh, it only looks at this INI file when you first fire it up so I'm going to shut off the program and then relaunch it so now it also looked at that file now it found down here in the communication links this was blank before and it found my DL6 now you might have to click on add link and select this com like in my case com13 and uh, you can select not sure what type of PLC it is that that works you want to select K sequence and then it tries to communicate with it it's trying different baud rates different parities so now it found it and you would give it a name um, and you can put any name in here you want and then click finish and it's going to always show up in here to communicate with it now mine is already set up as this K6 so I'm deleting out of here but that's what you would do so you type in like uh, you know Bob's PLC finish <clears throat> there's Bob's PLC it says it's active that means it's actually reading the um, the PLC okay so this is a big big step uh, and now uh, I'm going to close the software okay uh, let's um, get the file for the PLC this is the software that uh, you need to um, operate the PLC this is free on our website so I'm going to click uh, Internet Explorer and I copied this uh, earlier so you, you want to type this in groups Yahoo group glass panel um, I don't know how else you can get to it but uh, hit Google search and so up our group our group pops up here so some way you have to get to our group assuming you're a member and uh, so then we click on files and we want to go down here to PLC programs click on that baby and click on the file short cozy 2 it's this is a uh, okay and I'm gonna click on save and it automatically puts it into my documents so I'll save that zipped folder that's done we can close this all okay our goal now is to 
take the uh, short cozy program that we downloaded from our website and uh, we want to uh, make it available to the direct soft software so I'm going to go into um, my documents where we downloaded it grab this and I'll right click it and select copy and uh, then I'll close that and I'm going to go to my computer drive C there's direct soft 5 and we're going to select projects oh, oops. select projects and then right click on that and paste so we're putting it in the projects folder so now let's double click projects and there is the short cozy select it right click and extract all and it says do you want to really send this into C direct projects short cozy and uh, yeah I do and so if you look at the top here direct soft 5 projects we now have short cozy 2 folder and this is what's in the folder so good we now have our program okay so let's do a little review here uh, my PLC is um, hooked up to a battery and it's turned on um, there's a little dip switch on it that's in the center position which is called the terminal position um, that allows communication and uh, so now what I want to do is uh, launch this Drexoft software and we want to create a new project and so I select that and then I right click it and browse and here's our short cozy folder I want to select that so that's the file name short cozy 2 open and we're going to run DirectSoft 100 and there it is <clears throat> now I'm going to PLC and I'm going to connect to the PLC select that it automatically selects the settings that we picked before and uh, we want to use the disk uh, in this case and I'm going to write this to the PLC it says write only the program to PLC click on that and okay so we've downloaded the program to the PLC and uh, so we can uh, change the mode to the run mode which we can do with software and also we can go up here let's click on the status now you hear the PLC clicking that's the way it normally runs status let's we let's us see uh, what's turned on what's not on the uh, like for instance uh, here's a timer um, it's not counting and here's when it is counting uh, and you know all these comments here just explain what's going on and, and stuff so for instance uh, if I actually had a horn physically hooked up to the correct output it would be going on whenever you see this um, light up so on the re this is the relay so it's a relay that flashes on for uh, what is it one second to every th five seconds or something like that letting you know that basically you left the power on to the PLC or you left your ignition on your aircraft is really what it tells you nice little benefit so um, anyway uh, you're totally functional